Hey guys, uh, this one's about the series that I'm talking about, about the storm that's coming to America, and it's the firestorm. Um, just look at it. I'm going to try to number them, get it a little bit more organized, but look it up about a storm that's coming to America, 8, 8, 8, 11, August 11th to September 11th, 2020. That's a separation, guys. It's going to separate us from all these idols. And one of the idols I'm going to talk about is the entertainment, guys. All this hokey pokey stuff that's vying for your attention. Kind of been in the news lately because of who's been getting, you know, all these Hollywood stars and stuff. Been in the been been on there. I'm not gonna name names. Since because that's just kind of can become more. I mean, I'll pray for them, but just become more of the sensationalism that it's not and never was intended to be. But they are speaking out about it. Um and not letting it influence that and the media influence our our lives our whole family's lives honestly <clears throat> our business decisions or whatever um <clears throat> cuz you go to the movie and the vigilante guy's the hero and he's got 20 guns and he flies through the air and he t takes a 9 millimeter pistol and he's shooting the bad guys with they have AK47s cuz they wronged his family or whatever you know the, but it's just kind of twisted up stuff guys all of them a lot of them are just really twisted up you know trying to just promote their different agendas all the sexuality agendas all the sexual sins all the you know look at that one about the idol about the sexual sins you know none of them produce life some of them even produce death. But they want you to believe all that stuff. And it's glorified. All the stuff that's glorified, guys. And it's kind of twisted up. Go to Google, you know, go to one of your search engines. And when's the last time you saw anything about Jesus, God, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, or His Word, or the Bible? On there, what pops up now, it's all about sports, politics, new car, especially now, you know, buy a Lexus. Christmas to remember or whatever. Some kind of way to save on your credit card. Some kind of fancy, you know, stuff. One site, all these pictures, different mountains and cities and hilltops and things. And it's like, what about this? And where's this at? And what bridge is that? And what, what lake is this? And where does this building exist? And who really cares? So it's just vying for your attention, guys, trying to get you away from things, you know. Any one of them, you know, you kind of start getting either, you know, twisted up into stuff and getting the wrong. You can go, it, it just, it's, it's just, but, sorry to say, but. Where's the spirit in this? Spirit, all right, you know? But it's not the spirit of God. The computer even, you know? I'm going YouTube and all this goofy stuff pops up, you know? Because I looked at a couple different whatever videos or whatever. Now they all pop up and some of I mean, crazy stuff too, guys. Crazy looking pictures of people that are just all twisted up and or whatever. And even the captions, it's just like in pop-ups and... I'm on Facebook, and I don't even like Facebook, and, but the Lord told me to do it, so I'm doing it. I have got some really good friends. And just put one out about there, about giving. It shall be given, no money required. But I'll be on there, and bing, bing, bing. I'll be typing something in my screen. I can't even see it because there's so many people that are, you know, active now, active now, active now. It's almost like. Everything's instant, guys. Instant entertainment, instant fix, instant microwave. Churches become that. I call it the Hollywood Christianity. Captain Crunch in a box. Used to like Ca Captain Crunch as a kid. It was one of my favorite cereals now because of the sugar content. I can't eat it, but smelled good, looked good, 
packaged good, bright yellow box. Sometimes some of them had toys in them, you know. Bad for you. No nutritional value, nothing in there. So some of us treat God, he's in a box, and when we need him, when something goes wrong or whatever, then we try to pull him down and, you know, use him when we need him. Not entering into his courts with thanksgiving and praise. We're entering in with our, you know, puffed up politeness and our just want the best seat in the house in the front the big purple chair with carved wood all around it and being up above everybody on the, on the on stage even some of it you know not as high but some you know it's like up on stage and it's like s surreal stuff man guys i went to a ton of rock concerts as a kid a lot of them look like rock concerts flashy stuff <laughs> Entertaining the flesh and crept into the church. It's become. I even came. I wouldn't even call some of them churches. Honestly, guys, it's sorry. These idols. I got some too, guys. Okay, there's there's plenty of them. Okay, we can idolize a lot of stuff. Look at that. It was popular for a long time. What was it called? Amer American Idol. Everybody's watching it. You know. Man, football, just, man, there's so many guys, but there, it's a separation. That's what this purging fire is going to be. We're going to have to decide, guys, who we really want to serve. I'm not going to try to pray some pray to destroy you if you don't believe like I believe or anything like that or be some kind of clown or, you know, I'm not looking for any of that. That's, that's just as just as bad it's a sensationalism too <clears throat> my direction is go to your source and that source should be God Jesus the Holy Ghost Holy Spirit and his word and let's start purging these idols guys and I am no different guys I got a couple not in it, well I don't know that's are idols but just a couple issues that I'm facing right now I don't like. Some I created, some others created. But I still have to go through them, get rid of them, separate them, bring them to the cross, cover them under the blood of the Lamb, ask God for direction, guidance, get that stuff out of my heart that's in there, because there is a few things in there and I don't like it. And that's where he wants to go in those deep, dark, that's the place where he wants to go in our hearts, guys. The ugliest places of our hearts. These idols, these things that we just lifted up above him. So anyhow, I'm going to end with that. Um, it's just quick. It's time to get this entertainment idol out of us, you know. The Hollywood portrayal of everything, kind of, you know. Um... A red carpet. Everybody wants the red carpet when they show up. <laughs> now, you know. Like, really, guys? It's all about the glitz and glamour, the fanciness of it. There's one, I'm not picking on it. You'll probably, you'll probably be able to read between the lines. One big organization, I'll call it that. One of their buildings is worth $30 billion. Like, and it's just this big old edifice, guys. And it's empty, pretty much. Empty promises. Nothing to it. I'm not, and I'm not monetizing it, because that's another one of the idols, too. But I'm just saying, the, it's the, the entertainment. The who's who in the church zoo. Man, guys, it's time to get back to the basics. Read your Bible. Ask Him. Get it in prayer in a secret place. Bring it to God. Jesus, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, and His Word. 
Get it from them directly. And quit trying to be something or not. I'll draw, I'll end with this, guys, okay? Because this is kind of, you know. Man, just go to Matthew 20. All the same. The people that worked longest and toiled, it says so in the Bible, that toiled all day long in the sun, expected more. Read what it says. Matthew 20. Same, guys. Now that I get the big seat in the house, I'm 30,000, 60,000, 90,000 feet above everybody. I'm higher than, better than mentality, mightier than, got more than. Because a lot of, uh, you know, I've heard different, different, different ministries and people, and it's like, man, God. And I was like, well, how would you feel? Wouldn't you feel kind of special if somebody gave you a million dollars? Probably, you know. I feel like I'm better than? Probably. So we can't really judge them. I'm not saying that. Pray for them, but it's time to get that out of the inner, because then that becomes the entertainment, then it becomes the swirl, and because we've got the monetary things that we can do things, we create things, we create these atmospheres for God. That's what I'm saying about that Captain Crunch Christianity, that bright, shiny box. There's nothing to it. No substance. Actually, it's bad for you. What are, we, what are we eating? What are we feeding other people? What are we feeding our flesh? Because that's what it's doing, this entertainment. Entertaining, you know. I mean, there's, I mean, pick some. Some of them, you know, services are really long, but it's all about things and bands and musics and programs and stuff. Some of them are, you know, advertise how short they are. Get you in and out in 45 minutes. Jack in the box, Christianity or whatever, you know, in and out lifestyle or whatever or in and out just get in and out just get in and out a short time or a long time kind of suck into that entertainment and that, that fleshly realm and lose sight of why you're really there i'm not i'm not saying we shouldn't gather that's not don't don't take this wrong don't say oh, that's not my point I mean, where i'm heading to with that But the why. Let's get this entertainment idol. It is like a beast, guys, but let's get this out of our lives. Quit buying into it. So anyhow, um, love you guys. Um, tune in to the other ones about the storm coming. Um, you can email us directly at jesusaliveinamerica at gmail.com. You go to jesusaliveinamerica.com, log with us, or you can just Google Jesus is Alive in America and find us. <clears throat> Let's, you know, look at some of my other videos, guys, to get a capture on my heart. It's not, I'm just being directional, I'm not, but, uh, but let's connect this. Let's connect the body. However that looks. Maybe it's just connecting with your neighbor or at your church or whatever or your, you know, or whatever that looks like. Whatever God's telling you to do, do it. So anyhow, I love you guys. Um, but the main thing that I'm saying on these videos is let's get these idols out. I'll put this out on a lot of them. Sin is in. God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and the, His Word are out. I'm going to let him in. Not out. Love you guys.